Hello YouTube, my name is Kangav, and I was recently an official co-streamer for the Gamescom Awesome Indies over on my Twitch channel. Go follow me. And honestly, I don't play demos very often because I have too much free time and I want to be able to sit down and play an entire game in one sitting. But there are so many good demos in the Awesome Indies I wanted to try that I ended up in a rabbit hole and wanted to share with you all some free demos on Steam I suggest trying. In no particular order, let's see the list. First is a shorter demo, but it's for a story game that I cannot wait to finish. The Berlin apartment follows a man telling his daughter about the various previous residents of their apartment in Berlin. You play from the POV of those various occupants, seeing how the small area changes over time, and interacting with the environment to see each story unfold. The game's release date has not yet been announced. Next is a historical fantasy point-and-click called Legends of Castile. He plays a young girl who suddenly decided she wants to become a nun. She's sent on a journey by her future mother's superior, where you will complete puzzles, meet characters, and discover mythological creatures all in a hand-drawn style. This game is expected to release fully sometime before the end of 2024. Next up is one I intended to just try out, but somehow ended up with 4 hours of playtime within 48 hours of downloading it. Drill Core is a pixel art style strategic mining game. You must hire and care for workers who dig up minerals for you to build upgrades and weapons that protect from the creepy critters lurking on your path to the center of each planet. One of my favorite aspects of the game is the random chance elements. Only certain upgrades are guaranteed, while some items have a random chance of being available, and you have to plan accordingly with each unique playthrough. This game is set to fully release next week on September 12th. Then we have a sandbox game designed for co-op or single player called A Lot. First of all, this game is beautiful. You play as a customizable character starting a new life upon a series of floating islands. Explore and gather items to unlock recipes and learn about the ancient knowledge of the land. This game looks like it's going to have a lot to do in it and can even hold up to seven players in a world. It is set to release fully in the fourth quarter of 2024. Next up is a physics-based game called Half Sword. If you don't like blood and combat, probably skip this one. If you don't mind them, then I suggest giving it a go. You essentially have to battle against wacky physics in order to collect weapons, armor, and other tools while fighting NPC enemies. This game doesn't yet have an announced release date for its full version. This is your mid video reminder that if you like the content it makes, you can support me by becoming a Kofi member and or following me on my other socials. Next up is Magical Delicacy, which is a game that has actually already released fully, but since it costs $32 Canadian, it's probably worth giving the demo try first to make sure you like it. I personally adored this demo. The art style and concept are fantastic. He plays a young witch traveling to a new town to learn how to better harness your abilities. The catch is that all the magic you do is through cooking. Upgrade your kitchen, grow new ingredients, meet the townspeople to progress, and even get to do a little bit of platforming to really explore the town. Next is a demo I actually streamed a little while ago called Spill the Beans. You are tasked with discovering who stole a secret recipe at your new coffee shop job. The only problem is that you are the one who stole it. With a talking cat, character customization, and multiple endings, this visual novel promises to be tons of fun. It does not yet have a set full release date. Next is a game that almost feels like a mobile phone game, but 10 times better because you can actually see everything you're doing when it's on a PC monitor. Tavern Keeper was in the Gamescom Awesome Indie Showcase and is a fantasy business sim where you start with a rundown tavern and no stock. It's your job to hire workers, buy products, and get a clientele. The full game is supposed to have a large amount of decorating and customization options, and is set to fully release on November 5th, 2024. Then we have a game that can be single player or multiplayer called Goblin Cleanup. He plays a goblin who cleans up the dungeons that your typical video game hero fights in. Mop up the blood and pick up the enemy body parts before the next hero shows up. But make sure you don't die yourself. This game is set to release fully sometime in 2025. We have another one that I partially streamed called Our Life Now and Forever. This game has some of the best customization I have ever seen as you play as a character who is a child that's just moved into a new neighborhood. Throughout the full game you'll be able to see this character grow up and you can change their appearance, pronouns, and more. But in the demo you just go through their childhood and it is so well done. The full release date for this game has not yet been announced. Last but not least is another beautiful game called Tiny Glade. This game is entirely about building with endless combination options. The demo has limited items, but I've seen some people create stunning buildings already. There are no wrong or right answers, just build what calls to you, set the time of day, and snap photos of your work. This game is set to fully release on September 23rd. Let me know in the comments what other upcoming games you are looking forward to. 